Craig are winning a clean sheet. Can't really ask for an awful lot more than that, I suppose. No, winning clean sheet, exactly. Um, two wins from two, but we know it's very early days. I think you saw a different side to us in the second half that we can we can obviously play good football, attacking football, like you saw at Wrexham, but at the same time, you can see that we are able to grit it out and knuckle down and keep teams at bay and keep clean sheets. That first half performance, one of the best I think we've seen at Stadium NK for a long, long time. Feels like a very long time after after last season, but it all seemed to click into gear. Yeah, I think the first half we were really good. I think we played some really good football, like you say. Um, I think second half, I don't know if they changed the system, um, but it just felt like we just couldn't really get to grips and get out of our half as easily. Um, but like I say, you also get to see the other side of us and everyone gave a real shift and obviously come away with the three points and clean sheet. And a couple of big saves from yourself. The one particularly the way Norris has whipped it across the face of goal that you've, you've got a fingertip to. Yeah, that's ultimately the goalkeeper's goal. I know it's cliche and every goalkeeper says the same thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice to play you've got, big, you've got big stuff up there, Yeah, you? <laughs> obviously, at the time, you don't know... Uh, He's obviously on a tight angle and he's just tried to hit it. And I think he said afterwards it's going in. So that's ultimately what your job is, to try and get anything you can on it. And all it takes sometimes is a little fingertip and ultimately that can be the difference from it going in the goal. Sometimes you need a bit of luck though, don't you? I mean, I think he plattered the bar from inside five yards as well. Yeah, he ended up, I can't remember if it was a ricochet or a slip ball through and he's obviously in on goal. And I think he's tried to dink it and he's ended up hitting the bar. But that's what you need sometimes. You need a little bit of luck. You need the, the woodwork to help you. Um, but I think... In hindsight, based on that first half performance in particular, I think we were worthy of three points. Um, obviously, the manager being a, a former defender, Chris Lecchetti being a former defender, and of course, goalkeeper coaches mm -hmm. working on the back line. How massive is it for everybody to get their clean sheets? It's obviously massively important. You want to, as defenders and goalkeepers, you pride yourself on keeping clean sheets. Also, if you can keep the, the door shut at one end and allow the attackers to go and score goals at the other end, then ultimately you're in for a a good recipe of winning games, aren't you? So, yeah, that's the, obviously the first one, and hopefully the first one of many. And first time you and I have had the opportunity to talk. How have you found it so far at MK Dons? Yeah, amazing. Everyone's everyone's great. Everyone's a great person. The, the dress room's unbelievable. Every member of staff is is top draw. I've literally fitted in like like I've always been here, to be honest. Um, and it's a good, like I said, a good dressing room. Pre season's been tough, but everyone's knuckled down, worked hard, and we started very positively. But we you know there's a long way to go. Well, I mean, I know there are 44 games to go, but top of the league already, it sounds quite nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it's obviously, it's obviously nice. You want to you wanna win your mentality. I think the gaffer's obviously said that before. Like You want to be winning games of football. Um, I'd much rather be winning games of football than losing them, that's for sure. Um, but we know there's obviously a long way to go and there'll be lots of twists and turns and different games, different opponents and how they play and we need to be ready for it. Top man, well played too. Thank you. How big a psychological boost is going to be to get that clean sheet on the board? Um... Yeah, so it, it, the first one's obviously massively important. Um, and like I've already said, in terms of defenders and goalkeepers, you pride yourselves on clean sheets. We obviously know as well if, if the lads at the top end of the pitch are doing their job in terms of helping us defensively. It's a, it's a collective. I've always said this as a goalkeeper. I know the goalkeeper gets the clean sheet, blood it, but ultimately, if everyone in front of you isn't trying to all go towards a clean sheet, then a lot of the time it's very, very difficult as a goalkeeper or a defender. So it's a collective and obviously we've got the first one, hopefully the first of many. It's a busy opening month with plenty of opportunities to get points on the board. Is it quite good to get the rhythm with the first two wins already on the board and the opportunity to still come to get more points? Yeah, obviously I, 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 I much prefer playing consistent games Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday because you stay in a rhythm, you stay in a routine. And like I said so far, it's, we've had two wins from two and hopefully we can make that three on Tuesday, four on Saturday and then hopefully keep that run going.